Greetings gamers of the internet and welcome back to Heliophobia, whose voice now apparently exudes so much enthusiasm he's being compared to mystery pack unboxings in terms of his video style. I mean, if this is the most enthusiastic voice you've heard on the internet. W welcome to the internet. Anyway, since I'm definitely still reading from that comment and all the other angry tech pros from my last video, you know, uh, please subscribe so I feel slightly better about the disastrous like to dislike ratio. Tonight, I welcome you to another reaction video, this time discussing what is probably the worst collab in the history of the entire internet, then introducing you to the channel in their own style. So, enter scene one. Here's this guy. Let's call him Ray. He's a 42 year old man from Oklahoma. So, shout out to Oklahoma. In May 2009, he uploaded his first YouTube video called I will end you. I don't know if that's nominative determinism, a threat on my life, or just the inevitability of what 2009 humor can do to a person. What's happening, forum? I like animals, especially this fluffy son of a And as much as I want to reach out and pet his furry ass, this was part of his hugely successful Equals 3 series in which he reacted to viral videos of the time on the internet, helping him become the largest YouTuber on the planet at the time with over 5 million subscribers by 2011. In 2012 he left Maker Studios which was eventually bought out by Disney based on what he classed as an exploitative contract and in December 2013 he quit hosting the show, moving on to other projects such as his still ongoing as far as I'm aware animated show called Your Favourite Martian. Between 2014 and 16, the number of Equals 3 hosts equaled 3. After all of that stuff he sort of dropped off the face of the earth until in 2020 he decided to start making short form content for instagram and youtube again and since that's the idea of my content in both subscriber growth and video quality i think we'll go back to my amazing style and yeah that's basically your backstory hosted by some guy who sounds a lot like me interrupting me and yeah essentially what happened is that through the pandemic it was creating a bunch of youtube short commentary videos which became super popular but then to appeal to the tiktok algorithm he hit his stride with a true crime niche bagging him over 11 million followers he still covers youtube drama from time to time but obviously that's not his forte anymore and that brings us to now well actually last month and a little bit further back leave me alone was i uploading last month no came back to a dead channel Expanded my audience by like two regular viewers. Please have forgiveness on my soul. Back to what I was saying again. Just over a month ago, on the 8th of March 2024, Ray William Johnson uploaded a video to his channel titled Evil Chemist Tries to Kill His Neighbors. And I'll just play a few seconds of this. So I've been making these story videos for you for about six months, and it's been great. But I've been getting requests to do something longer. So me and this independent studio I've partnered with, we're going to take some of the stories I've done and we're going to dramatize them. And yes, he created a true crime video in collaboration with the Darman staff team. <laughs> you know, the same Darman who sticks a bunch of influencers in his videos, has 21 million subscribers, basically makes entire joke videos at this point, and got famous off weed, yet couldn't afford to pay his employees for several months. Yeah, uh, that Darman. It's an official collab, even though I was skeptical at first, it literally has the same subtitle fonts and everything like that and the reason why i'm here reacting to it today is because uh, it just feels really off my obvious bias against true crime videos aside because you know i'm not some like 15 year old teenage girl mixing all of this with the dar man video style is just like beyond risky and insensitive and doesn't even really add anything new to the table like interviewing the victims and stuff like the people luckily in this situation are still alive and i also think that's the only reason why this is just gonna stay like a pilot episode and nothing further because covering a situation where the person was actually punished by deportation in lieu of uh, actually being jailed just giving the family no justice it's like the furthest you can go before you'll actually get like a bunch of mainstream media and commentary channel complaints basically being like a are oh, you exploiting death for views especially when the benefit is more direct in the form of ad revenue instead of just using subscribers and donating the money to charity or something as for the actual situation covered in this video which i'll provide for some context this video covers the situation of zooming lee who had a video of him go viral in 2023 you've probably seen it i have and essentially in this video you can see him putting poison under his neighbor's door which was causing the neighbors and their baby to suffer dizziness hair loss and a bunch of other side effects the neighbor essentially had everyone search through his entire house to see what was causing it and because he didn't see it he set up a secret camera which was actually what recorded this clip and the university of southern florida graduate who was actually studying for a chemistry phd ended up being deported before his arrest warrant could actually be fulfilled and yeah essentially this guy was like a madman scheming for months reports claim that he made his wife take out the children like every day whilst he was planning to do all of this and he was also feigning support for the birth of a baby with a bunch of fake supportive text messages overall it's a crazy situation but not as crazy as his video so we're gonna play it now in three two one go i think that's the best segue i've had in a while even though there isn't really a high standard 
So this guy, let's call him Heisenberg. Wow, you're a genius taking this story very seriously. <laughs> let's give him the nickname of the main character in Breaking Bad because you know, uh, he, he, he's chemistry student. Uh, get it? <laughs> Again though, it's still better than jokes like this. Uh, nothing, I, I would never promote uh, drug use on this channel. All I have is this bloody ring like. He's been rolling around for hours because all he can hear is noise coming from his upstairs neighbors. And this noise problem has been going on for almost a year. And Heisenberg has finally had enough. And he snaps. And he's about to end this once and for all. Based on a true story. But look, on the other hand, although I do watch like lots of news and stuff and everything, I've genuinely never gotten the obsession with like true crime and stuff like that. Or why it's become like some sort of like entertainment fantasy or whatever within the past couple of years to just be like discussing murders or hell, even watching dramatizations of murders that are less than a year old and you know, at least not like asking about the family and stuff. Like the guy's not dead, so I, I will say that. But, but why don't you just go around and like ask them or do a documentary like that or something they've spoken to the news before it's way better than whatever the hell this stupid stuff you're trying to do is this clearly isn't the greatest sign for the next generation so poor heisenberg he's a normal guy he moved here from china to get his phd in chemistry he's been living in this building for a while but one day his new neighbors moved into the apartment above him morning mr heisenberg you're making noise again do you know how difficult it is to study with all the racket up here it's impossible I'm trying to finish my dissertation, but I can't with all the noise up here. Oh, sorry about that. It's the morning rush to get ready for the day. You know how that goes. For a second, I was genuinely getting like so incensed that like the points that the guy in the video was actually making that I did genuinely forget it was a story. I was genuinely just going to be like, a, oh, have you have you never heard of a library? You expect them to ship like maybe fresh out the womb, the daycare or something. <laughs> Look, now I've got that out the way. Like the emotionlessness on both their faces it, it is something to behold. No, I don't. All day and all night. I am assaulted by the sounds from your apartment. Look, whilst we're having a Five Nights at Freddy's music going on in the background. Night. I am we have this guy who's reciting a Shakespearean poem about how the baby's making too much noise. Like, it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. No one's speaking to their neighbours like this. But then again, I am a heliophobian, so uh, who am I to judge? We'll do more to keep it down. Now the neighbour, his name's Umar. And Umar, he's a nice guy, so he tries everything he can think of to muffle sounds coming from his apartment. He puts down rugs, he buys padded shoes, noise dampeners for his cabinets and doors. He even oils the squeaky toilet seat. With attention to detail. Oh, I genuinely though, why, why the hell are you going to be buying cupboard noise dampeners? Like, how often every day are you going to be opening and closing them? But unfortunately, none of it works. Do you not think that's because there's barely any noise to begin with? I also love romanticizing mental health problems. So Heisenberg calls his landlord. Mr. Lowy? What's going on? Sorry to bother you, Umar, but Mr. Heisenberg has filed a noise complaint against you. Can I come in and check out the apartment? Sure. Take a look around. But like I told Mr. Heisenberg, we're doing all we can to keep the noise down. So the landlord decides to perform a noise test. They get Umar's wife upstairs to make as much noise as she can. Stomping around the apartment. She drags chairs across the floors, she slams cabinets and toilet seats. Most entertaining episode of Brainiac and Mythbusters I've ever seen. Down below, they don't hear any noise. Nothing. Sorry, I, I don't know how offensive this is gonna get, but you know, uh, this guy makes me think of how bloody Ian Miles Cheong would look if his creator had mercy on him. And ultimately, Landlord concludes the test and he apologizes to Umar for wasting his time. And that is the moment when things start getting crazy. A few days later, I'm pretty sure you mean months later. I mean, if you're going to put all this effort into a story and dramatizing it for monetary gain, at least do the basic facts right. Ugh. What is that? Where is that smell coming from? <laughs> And then one day, after returning home from a short trip, Umar, his wife, 
even their baby, they all start getting sick. So Umar starts investigating, trying to figure out what's causing this illness. Watching too many Ray William Johnson videos. But yeah, from this point on, basically explains how they called in multiple people, including air conditioning inspectors and even the Tampa, Florida fire department to like check what was going on. But they genuinely couldn't figure it out. And yeah, without the intervention and the video footage that I showed earlier on before I started reacting to this video, these people probably wouldn't be alive. So Umar, he's determined to get to the bottom of this. And he finally decides to set up a hidden camera outside his front door. Let's see if the camera caught something. Now, is this Spotify branded computer? <laughs> I mean, come on, Ray, would have been the greatest place to stick in a lot of product placement. I've always found it odd just how quickly searches get called off after dogs lose the scent of the person they're trying to track. Luckily, this video's sponsor, Scentbird, gives you a way to stand out. What will the camera see? That the fireman, the plumber, the repairman, and the landlord didn't. Honey, you have to see this. The hell is this? This acting is like so corny. This is the same way people's parents call them over. They look at like some conspiracy laden WhatsApp post. At least the main series Starman content is usually just jokes. But to choose him to direct this, uh, I don't know. And obviously the video concludes around here. He basically states the story where he's like, oh, he gets deported. And yeah, that's it for this quote unquote pilot of a new series. I, I genuinely don't know how to feel about this video because it could work. But on the other hand, if you're going to be picking like fresh stories, stories like this one just waiting around for new topics to come out to get the most views and then and then your takes are going to be stuff like this but here's the thing if you ever have a noise issue with your neighbor maybe try and talk to them instead of trying to poison them absolutely groundbreaking things you're spreading awareness <laughs> then at some point you are going to end up making the wrong move that'll kill your career for a second time and let's just say i'm very aware of how to kill one's own career <laughs> anyway you've been watching heliophobia you can follow me at heliophobia on twitch story fire instagram threads rumble tiktok and odyssey my second youtube channel has the at sub to heliophobia and my twitter at or x at is heliophobian with an underscore genuinely don't know when i'm gonna return because the internet's gonna be dead for a few weeks and again i also have exams which is like the 25th time i've said this in the past three or four videos and until next time good night happy gamers next week heliophobian presents the gods of murders a new true crime series right here on youtube